Hi guys, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different tricks you can do with a PRS T1. Uh, so, first thing off, uh, there are some new home screens. So, this is a cool different home screen you can load onto here. Uh, this is a rooted PRS T1. Uh, you got to be rooted to install this. So, you've got your app drawer over here. You got different options for um, different, uh, you can access your like Dropbox right here, Root Explorer. So, it's kind of a cool different setup. We've got Wikipedia like right, links right there. Um, you can also customize this if you'd like. So one thing that I'm going to show you that's really cool, uh, you open up the browser. This is how you uh, enable partial page refresh on the Sony PRS-T1. So this is really cool if you're like, let me show you something right here. If you go into Dropbox or like any list type of thing, um, scrolling is extremely painful because it constantly does the flashing. Um, but there's a cool trick to work around this. What we do here is you just open up the web browser. And then you um, you do the pinch zoom, but you go up and you tap the top of the screen before it can reset. See, when you do the zooming, it takes it a couple of seconds, or like a second or two to reset once it's done zooming. So you tap the screen while it's still in the zoom mode, and then you can uh, enable like perma partial refresh. So uh, you get the, uh, it doesn't do the flashing or anything. Um, it's not as high definition, obviously, as you can tell, but it works a lot better. Uh, if you need to access some lists like on Dropbox so that way you can just scroll nice and easy without all the flashing so it's kind of a cool trick um, for this type of thing or like when you're using the the uh, root explorer if you're moving files um, it just works a lot easier without all the black flashing constantly um, so there's a couple of things to uh, like if you go back to pretty much any Sony application it will reset so if you go back to the web browser it'll reset or if you go back to the Sony home or open up an ebook then it will go ahead and reset and you'll get the refresh the black page again um, so it even kind of it even works with the uh, FB reader but the uh, text is it's more jagged let me show you what I mean here so like if you load up FB reader you can do the perma partial refresh but the text it doesn't look as good it's kind of rough around the edges and you'll get more, a lot more ghosting obviously look how fast the page turns to go though it's like way faster than you normally um, so that's just kind of a cool trick another cool trick uh, I found is with FB Reader since uh, FB Reader comes with the Sony um, when you root it you can just go ahead and then install the text-to-speech plugin for FB Reader and then you can actually have text-to-speech on your Sony PRS T1 so this is what you do you just go in hit more and then speak. What you're going to need though is you're going to need headphones because it doesn't have speakers. We took the first turn in the drive at 40 and rounded onto the highway at 60. So the Texas Speech voice isn't bad actually. Um, so to do that, you just uh, install the text-to-speech plugin for every reader. They have it on their website, or you can do what I did. It's a lot easier if you have the um, Android Market installed. So um, what I did is I went ahead and installed the FB Reader plugin from the Android Market, and then it asks you to uh, install this data. So that kind of helps to have the market because I don't know where you can download that, uh, download that otherwise. So to, if you don't have the Android Market on your Sony Reader, it's really really easy. Um, all you've got to do, uh, I put the files on Dropbox. You download these files. All you, it is is the Google uh, Services Framework Pack, and then the see how much more of a pain it is scrolling with the partial refresh off. It's so much easier with partial refresh on. Um, so what you do is you just install this uh, Google for Services Framework Pack APK, and then the Android Market APK. It's a zip file, and then um, you're good to go. You got the Android Market on your Sony Reader, so uh, that's kind of a cool thing. You can also set it up to uh, save your apps to the SD card. I haven't set that up yet. Um, so that you have more space, but uh, I'm liking this home screen where you got your apps over here, your app drawer just right in the home screen, and then it also shows your recently read instead of the recently added titles. Um, so that's kind of a cool benefit as well. Um, one other thing, let me show you. Uh, I posted about this on my website the other day. Um, you can actually go in and change the fonts if you want. Um, so I added some new fonts to the font folder on my Sony. Uh, it actually made it work uh, really easy with uh, Dropbox. I just went in and uh, change the where the files went and then um, so you can go in with Calibre and modify the CSS file see right here I have a different font than is standard with the Sony um, this is font 10 
um, and then there are some you can pretty much put any OTF and TTF fonts you want on here and then you can use the CSS uh, file to overwrite and get uh, custom fonts like this so that's kind of another cool trick um, so I'm going to wrap up this video check out the ebookreader.com I'll have uh, the links to the stuff you need to download to uh, get the alternate home screen the um, Android market that kind of stuff it's all already linked to on my website so check that out thank you for watching